suppose it's dear to all of our hearts is this whole area of historic Ironwood and how important it is. And um, that's one of the areas that, that is really, I think, quite important is that the fact that there's a lot of historic Ironwood in Ireland, in graveyards, in towns, in houses all over the place. And, uh, but it's really under threat. And, you know, why? Maybe Paul, you might be able to give us an insight into what you experience on a day-to-day -day basis. But the, um, there's only more. If you're anywhere in the country, within a hundred feet of you, there's going to be ironwork of some sort. Um, in the country, there's vernacular ironwork, and if you're on gates, mainly the field gates, um, railings, and uh, they're, they're just seen as old work. But really, that's our heritage in ironwork. That's our heritage. And when they're repaired, they're repaired with modern methods. They're not kind of repaired with the uh, methods was used. And even if we started um, to repair simple ironwork like that, um, it would start the ball rolling to do more intricate or railings and, and the more intricate ironwork in the towns. Um, in the cities, the, the park railings are all the old. Georgian and uh, Victorian ironwork is mm -hmm. it, it, it's recognisable because it's it's a part of the architecture. It fits in with the architecture, and um, the repair work is that's done on it is it's not in keeping with the way it was done. So if we just keep keep. I, I try and use raw iron with raw iron and lead in stuff into granite when it was leaded in. Um, so it's a, it's a matter of just keeping it. It's fairly simple, I think. It's a matter of keeping with what was done to continue on the. the, the okay, but I, I think that um, those five here realise how important it is. But like the average person um, going <coughs> down the street, they just see it or passing down the road, they see this rusty old gate. They don't see any value in it. It might um, have some really nice detail in terms of maybe the way the, the, the lock is done, maybe the drop bar or something really spectacular that the local blacksmith did and that was his statement of his work. No one values it. And I just wonder, you know. Well, I mean, the problem with that then that the heritage officers and engineers, councils, just allow to let it happen whatever happens like. They're not seeing too that it's done in a proper fashion. And that's what's happening over the Ironwood. As Paul said, it's not being not being done correctly. So we have to impress upon the council then and all the rest to see if we can get to do the right thing. Yeah. And keep it there. JJ, what, what do you think on, on this? Because I know you've you you have a strong mixture in terms of your own the business yeah. and the um, work and, and I get a feel that there's, um, I'd agree with the lads basically. Um, I suppose there's probably, there's probably 30 or 40 smiths around the country doing restoration work in a small way, but it's uh, probably one in every county, but it's a matter of finding the local smith and trying to work with him. I suppose some of these guys get shied away, myself included at times, is the, the paper trail and the insurance and all uh, this side of it seems to be, it frightens people off of doing the, the actual getting involved in the job as well, and from the Smith's side of it, getting involved in it, so then they opt to go, sometimes they could be almost, you could say, bullied into doing it a certain way to suit a, to suit a budget, so that's a, it's a tricky one. 